All right, welcome back, Costa 50 folks. Professor Almeida here to talk to you about what to expect now that we will be done with TFS by the end of the week. And just as a friendly reminder, all of your TFS training and exams, uh, you've already done your TFS Chapter 1 training from the first week, but all of your other trainings and all your exams are due this Sunday, the 24th. Okay, don't leave easy points on the table, folks. Okay, especially with the training sims, you should be able to get 100% every time on those assignments. Training sims do need to be turned in on time. Okay, you cannot go back and do them for late credit. Uh, as far as exams are concerned, again, please make sure that you get them turned in. I gave you time in class to work on them, but if for some reason you couldn't get them done, Again, you have this weekend. Don't wait until Sunday night when it's too late to get any help or support. And as far as late exams are concerned, I will continue to accept them. However, they do carry a 10% per day grade reduction. So it's in your best interest to get them turned on time. Again, you don't want to be leaving easy points on the table. All right, let's talk about... Monday with Microsoft Word because there's a couple of things that we need to get into especially since you have a whole new category of assignments your SAM projects so let's go ahead and get into that here all right so let's scroll on down the modules page here and again make sure you get your TFS done folks. Oh, and by the way, there's an optional discussion forum here on computer concepts if you want to share something that you've learned. All right, starting on Monday, when you come to class, we are going to work on the Word Chapter 1 project together. Okay, it's very important that you come in on time so that you don't end up falling behind. Now, if you do end up sh showing up late to class, I have put together project walkthrough videos that you can watch and I've done walkthroughs for every project in this class. Now, this isn't an excuse to skip out on class, okay? You signed up for a face-to-face -face COSA 50 for a reason, and let's use that class time to make sure that we are getting these assignments turned in, okay? So again, let's make sure that we are coming to class on time, that you follow along and turn in your project that way you're getting points on the scoreboard. So in addition to the project, you have a training sim and we'll talk about how the office training sims work, especially since from here on out, we are just gonna be dealing with Microsoft Office 365. So we'll have three chapters of Word for the next two weeks and then after that, we'll get into PowerPoint and then Excel and then Access and then that's where Moss season kicks in. Uh, by the way, on Monday, I will also have a filming crew in the classroom. They're going to shoot some B-roll of our class uh, for a promotional video. And if you are majoring in computer technology, uh, you might want to consider being interviewed uh, about your classes, about the support and all of that good stuff, especially since I am the program lead for the computer technology program here at LBCC. So just be aware of that on Monday. I did post an announcement and talked about it in class on Wednesday, but in case you missed it, go check out that announcement. All right, uh, one other thing I want to mention here. When you come to class, okay, when you come to class, when you launch Microsoft Word, you are going to be asked to activate your copy of Office. You're going to log in the same way you would do for Microsoft 365 with your school account, okay? Details are in the syllabus, but in short, it's your student ID number at lbcc.edu. It's gonna look like an email address, and then from there, you log in through your Viking portal. Now, one other thing to mention, uh, because I've seen this happen in some of my other uh, COSA classes, you might be saving your project files to OneDrive. And the problem is, if you're not logged into OneDrive on your Windows PC in the classroom, 
when it comes time to upload your project for grading, you might not see the correct copy. And what happens is that students will just upload the one that was in their downloads folder and then they end up getting a zero and losing an attempt. So one other thing uh, besides activating your copy of Microsoft 365 in class is to go to your OneDrive. It looks like this in your taskbar and sign in uh, to OneDrive. Again, you have the details in the syllabus on signing in uh, with your student ID at lbcc.edu. It's going to be this cloud icon. It'll probably have a slash through it, but that way you'll be able to see what's on your OneDrive and you'll be able to upload the correct project. Okay, uh, again, I see that some folks, they save their projects to OneDrive. Um, if you're not sure about that, just check your downloads folder and especially the timestamp uh, so that you know you're uploading the correct project. Again, we'll talk more about this in class together. So the game plan is Monday, we will cover chapter one with Microsoft Word. You'll learn how to uh, do some basic formatting. We'll be putting together a flyer for chapter one. And then chapter two on Wednesday is gonna be a bit more involved. It's about uh, working on research papers. So if you have a term paper coming up uh, in your other classes, Wednesday would be your chance to see how to do things with Word, especially if you're working with citations and bibliography. So make sure you come to class for that. And you know, again, like I said, chapter two is gonna be a little bit more involved. And for those who are already done, Week six will also be open, and then that's chapter three, and then you'll take your exams. Uh, we'll have exam day that Wednesday of week six. So uh, we're turning up the volume here with COSA 50. Uh, thank you for coming to class. You know, when you walk in through that door, you are taking that first step towards being successful. Let's keep that momentum going, folks. Take care of yourselves out there. Have a good weekend, and I will see you all on Monday.